Oh, a rose for me? You shouldn't have. Welcome back, America. We're coming to you from Brookings Quadrangle in St. Louis, Missouri, where this season we're beginning our most exciting, best season yet of your favorite TV show, The Bachelorette. This season, we're gonna be following Katie Greenberg in her quest to find love in all the right and the wrong places and everywhere in between. Now join us now as we meet our contestants who hope to win her heart. Over the next few weeks, Katie will embark on the journey of a lifetime. Join us in her quest to win America's hearts and those of her contestants for her hand in marriage. She'll be meeting contestants from all over the world, from all sorts of backgrounds. There will be drama, there will be splendor, there will be extraordinary friendships and bonds made, and hopefully Katie will find the true love of her life. We'll follow her through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hi, my name's Hannah LaCava, and I'm from Chicago, like the actual city. And I'm really just looking for someone to connect with on a super deep level. For years now, I've been an activist for bees' rights across the country, and I'm really just here to find my honey. But don't cross me, because I can sting. Hi everyone, I'm Israel Hilario from Seattle, Washington. I'm a computer engineer, and frankly, the work gets a little lonely sometimes, so I'm here to change that. I've been looking for love for a long time, and I think I'm ready to find it. I think I might have the code to Kitty's heart. Hi, my name is Ben Milan Polisar, and I'm from Westchester, New York, like right outside of Manhattan. I'm here on The Bachelorette because I love the show, and I'm looking for someone to share my fortune with. If we're being real, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here for Katie, and she will be mine. I may not be the other contestant's cup of tea, but that's not my problem. All right, everyone, welcome back. I'm here now with our lovely and very single bachelorette, Katie Greenberg. Hi, Rohan. I'm so excited to be here. And we're excited to have you. So, you've already met all of our contestants. What are your first impressions, and what are you most excited about this season? Well, I'm really thrilled to just meet everyone and to finally find love this season. I'm just so excited to get started. That's really, that's really great to hear, yeah. And um, do you think you have any fears or worries going into things? Well, you know, I think it's going to be really tough to say goodbye each round, but in order to find the one, you have to make some sacrifices. And I'm not worried about people's motivations for being here. I think everyone's here for the right reasons. If I can be honest with you, uh, I'm just here to network. We take you now to our first night of mingling, where every contestant will try to make the best first impression on our Bachelorette. Let's see what happens. So, frankly, I'm all about Clementines, but every once in a while I can mess with a nice, juicy blood orange. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I actually have a severe citrus allergy. Oh, what a shame. When I was a dancer, I used to eat oranges all the time. But now, I just bring them to my kids' soccer practices. But I still remember a few moves. Hey, Katie. I was just, uh, checking you out. On LinkedIn! I heard your friends with Holden Thorpe. I was wondering if I could get his email. You know, all about these contacts. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, I'm like all about climbing this corporate ladder, you know, get on top. I find ambition incredibly attractive. Anyways, looking forward to sending you my resume tonight. Hey Katie, I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. So, just to break the ice, how do you feel about Star Wars? Uh, it's okay, I guess. Excuse me? Going, Kate, you can't just leave. Kate, we have a show to film. Kate, come back. Where are you going? That Kate, she's a rogue one. I'm so sorry. She shouldn't have walked out on you like that. I mean, seriously? She's such a I can't believe she would go up and 
on the first night. It was lewd, it was uncalled for, and it was impressive. But there's only room for one queen at this hive. Oh my god, Katie, we saw what just happened. That was totally uncalled for. Who does that girl think she is? I'm really sorry about that. Are you okay? Yeah, just a little weirded out. I can imagine. I'm Hannah. Ben. Well, if you need something to cheer you up, let's say you to a little B-movie watching party back at my place. Hope you're not allergic to pollen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, just citrus, actually. Looks like I'm the last one here. Hey Katie, it's great to meet you. My name's Israel, sort of like the country, except I'm in instead. I go by Izzy for short. It's great to meet you too. Oh my god, keep that away from me! I have a ripe citrus allergy. Me too. Ah, my oranges! All right, everybody, time's up. Um, we're gonna stop now and gather for the first rose ceremony. Welcome everyone to the first rose ceremony. Hopefully you've all had a chance to interact with Katie a little bit at our first uh, meet and greet here. Uh, but unfortunately we only have seven roses tonight and there are 13 of you. So that means a few of you are gonna have to go home. With that, Katie, the floor is yours. Guys, it's been really tough for me to make this decision, but in order to find my one true love, it has to happen. To all the rest of you, I'm really sorry, but we just didn't make enough of a connection. And I've literally never seen you before. I literally planned this entire event. Well, that's all for this week, folks. Join us next week to see if our bachelorette can be wooed at a group date. When life gives you lemons, well, try not to break out in hives. See you next time on The Bachelorette. Welcome back everyone. Our bachelorette has already had to say a few sour goodbyes, but now it's time for a little bit of fun. On this next group date, Katie's going to be putting up our remaining contestants to a bit of a challenge. Let's see what happens. Okay, so as many of you know, one of Katie's favorite pastimes is singing acapella music. So today we're going to give you a chance to woo her with your acapella musical talents. I'm just looking for someone who shares my passion for music, so I can't wait to see what each of you has in store. Let's get started. La 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 I am beautiful. Beautiful. What they say. Words can. Starstruck, you woke me up daily. I didn't even need no Starbucks. Divest now, the fossil fuels are burning. All my life, I've only been resisting. Without them, our world will go on turning. A world that's full of happiness. 
greatest that I have never known. <laughs> I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me, where the crowds will cheer when they see my face. But a voice keeps saying, This is where I'm meant to be. I will find my way. I can go the distance. I'll be there someday. If I can be strong, I know every mile will be worth my while. I will go most anywhere to find where I belong. You guys all did a really great job today. Thank you so much for putting yourselves out there, but I have to say, Israel, your song really blew me away. Will you accept this rose? Of course. All right, uh, that's it for today's group date, so we'll see you all at tonight's rose ceremony. I really don't know why we didn't win the challenge. Our runs were off the charts incredible. Look out, bitches, a swarm is coming. Don't you mean a storm? No, a swarm. Save the bees. Well, seriously though, Christina Aguilera has nothing on us. Welcome again to tonight's rose ceremony. Um, Israel, as today's champion, you are safe for this round. Um, but to the rest of you, unfortunately, there are only two roses left. Um, and those two roses will give you a chance to have an individual date with Katie, um, our lovely bachelorette. Um, and with that, Katie, I'll leave it up to you. Thanks, Rohan. Ben. Hannah. To the rest of you, thank you so much for joining us, but unfortunately this is the end of the road. Um, and to those of you who are advancing this week, congratulations and um, look forward to some great one-on-one -on -one dates with Katie. We'll see you next time on The Bachelorette. We've reached the final round of Katie's search for love, and soon her decision will be made. But first, she's going to be going on one-on-one -on -one dates with each of the remaining contestants. Will hearts be broken? Will she find her love? Will more drama go down? Stay tuned to find out. I'm so glad we get some one-on-one -on -one time together, Katie. Me too, Ben. And it's just such a gorgeous day today. You're so right. And it's about to get even more beautiful. Did I ever tell you my dad lives in St. Louis? No way! What does he do around here? He fells trees in the area. And something even more exciting? He's coming with us on our date today. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Well, hey there, son! Uh, my god, Benjamin, you know what I say about days like today? Oh, Daddy, of course I do. When there's clouds and a breeze, time to cut down some trees. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the Bachelorette Katie. Ah, so this is the little lady. Do you think she could help out with the old family timber business? Timber business? We just, we just really love wood. Well, of course, my dear. My son's recently come into some money, and he's agreed to throw me a bone for my tree-felling ventures. We'll need all the help we can get. <clears throat> Five, six, seven, eight. Lumber, rosewood, oak, they're great. Wooden trees, no doubt we are. The royal Milan Polisars. Oh, Ben, uh, forgot that I have an appointment that I missed earlier. I have to go. I'm Katie, so wait. Yeah, honestly, I had to put a stop to that right away. Ben is great, but considering my options for in-laws, that man was probably the strangest person I've ever met. I can't believe I'm going home. This is so unfair. Almost as unfair as the Electoral College. Literally, the only thing getting me through is that I'm probably going to be the next Bachelor. Oh, Hannah, you have to win this. 
Do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I'm really excited for my date with Israel today. I think we already have a really good connection, especially over our shared citrus allergy, and I really think there could be something lasting there. Today could be the deciding factor. The helicopter ride over the beautiful St. Louis Ocean was so romantic. Sparks were really flying. Wow, Izzy, it's been so great getting to know you these past few weeks. I think we have a lot in common and I really like you. Yeah, I never thought I'd find someone who had the same bizarre allergy as me. Kind of a one-on-one -on -one thing. Katie, it's been so great getting to know you. I mean, we have so much in common. I just, I don't know. I really thought things were going well between Katie and I, but now, I'm not so sure. At this point, I really feel like it could go either way. I have a really big decision to make before tonight's final rose ceremony. Tonight, Katie will make a lasting decision that will change her life forever. Who she will choose, only time will tell. Well, Katie, here we are at the end of your journey for love. Have you made your final decision? Yes, Rohan. I think I have. All right, take it away. I've really loved spending time with both of you, but ultimately, I have to choose just one. So... Hannah. I'm going to have to say goodbye. What?! I worked so hard to win this, are you kidding me?! Katie, you're breaking my heart. I'm so sorry. Israel, it was always you. Will you accept this final rose and do me the honor of accompanying me to Splash of Color 2017? I couldn't imagine anything better, Katie. 